We don't have to fuck chat, but between me and this motherfucker right here, you got a lot of musical experience right here, man. I want to see y'all win, man. Uh, okay. I, mean, I want to be able to say, I song. interviewed y'all motherfuckers <laughs> first, before y'all <laughs> stars. So I can well, see you on the MTV and channel. And, by the way, I would... You got to be about my game. They it is a whole different animal. God damn. <laughs> It is a whole different animal today. <laughs> My God. Forget about what you've heard. Forget about ferrets and jello fights. Forget about dogs and sanders. Forget about tarantulas at picnics. Forget about Tim Tebow in the building. We've got uh, we've got the world famous Jiggy Jaguar experience, of course, each and every Sunday live, two to four central, three to five eastern, and twelve to two Pacific. JiggyJaguar.net. We are live on UStream right now, and uh, Jesus Christ on a stick, literally. We've got a hell of a deal today. Are we up, are we up on this mic already? We have in studio, Jesus. Christ. <laughs> or they let the, we, we've got a recliner cam. There's Cheeto, ah, and then we got a. I'm back. <laughs> and then we've got Mike Game and Israel. What's happening? It's uh, your big homie's big homie. Your baby mama favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Hey, hey, here. no, 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 no. These are things that I am. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. Okay, good, okay, okay, that is good. And uh, I'm in your his, baby mom, I'm your baby's mama's favorite rapper. Uh, Israel geez. is your baby's mama's other favorite rapper. <laughs> I'll accept that. And we've got uh, Mike Game wearing his Aaron Hernandez jersey because, as he told me before the show, he's all about murder. I'm all about that murder <laughs> business, son. <laughs> and we live in America. And we've it's got until proven guilty, dog. And and Israel and Mike, I don't know how the hell uh, you guys made it here. On <laughs> I don't know how the hell this happened, but you guys, you guys brought a special guest with you. Yes, sir. I'm fucking nigga, the business kid. The business kid in the Shout building. The business baby. kid over there looking icy and all that gold. You know what it's it's about. it's great because uh, business kid, he, his name got brought up a lot last winter by Jay Marie. Oh. Who is on her way here? Oh, she's like, yes. she's like, I'm fucking with business kid, dog. I try to get with business kid, and I said, and, and she did this around Mike, and Mike's like, what? And she's like, he's on BT, man. And then I love this nigga. Mike. He's on BT, and Mike goes, you know something? Every nigga is on BT. <laughs> 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 he goes, all, all, you, all you gotta do is go over and make a page. That's <laughs> no all, website. That's all you gotta do. You gotta do. <laughs> because in real life, so in real life, my game is the best thing going. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I'm of course, I swear, motherfuckers, if you didn't know that, sometimes they call me King Games, sometimes they call me my game. There, there's, there, there's, there's, there's the Mike game Mike before he stole your spot over there. I thought you were gonna. I thought business kid was gonna. Nah, be... motherfucker, fucking <laughs> my spot. What my Mike? Uh, not not my spot. Not my, my dog spot. Not my liver spot. But my um, spot. Actually, that would be my spot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that would be my spot. I am the original. Your name's not on it. <laughs> Your name's not on it. Neither is yours. You got fucking fat ass James Davis. Actually, I scratched it in under the handle. It's there. Okay. So I own that mic, and I own this one, too. So, suck it. <laughs> and then in studio, Word Triple A. we've got Cheeto. We got yes, Cheeto sir. in one direction so- up in this bitch. <laughs> They play heavy metal, but they look like One I Direction. I think that they would kick One Direction's ass <laughs> twice at church. Only Cheeto. Twice at church. Only Cheeto and the other kid. He has the gray vans. I don't know his name. I'm What's your name? Eduardo. Eduardo? Eduardo. I just want. Ed, Ed, is it, Ed, Ed, what? Eduardo. Eduardo. We're going to call him Ed. Eduardo. Okay, Ed. Ed. So, fucking Ed Big and Eddie. Cheeto would fucking <laughs> whoop One Direction's ass. But these three over here. Those are the guys you need to have as your friends. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody, see, 
these motherfuckers look like they're some pipe bombs. Right. So when they decide to <laughs> blow up the school, guess like, who's going to get the email and guess who's not? Guess who's going to get the email and guess who's not? Okay, exactly. I'm not getting blown I'm, up. All I'm saying is I, I gotta am go to out church. of school, so do not pipe bomb my church. school. But if you need a pipe bomb school, make sure it's West High. Because there's South High tie-ins up in this bitch. Have you explained your top five? You want your to, uh, your, 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 your 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 duct tape butt rape thing to uh, to to our rapper friends here? Is no, it's what? too much today. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Duct tape butt rape with the cupcake. With the cupcake, <laughs> but only if you're nice. You only get whoa, the cupcake whoa, if you're what nice. The fuck is- Happening. Don't judge me. What the fuck's happening in these streets? <laughs> real out here, son. What's happening in these streets? <laughs> what the fuck is happening in these streets in Kansas? It's, it's witch time, you know. It's, it's real. We're not talking about witch time. It's real gangster. Witch time. I All know what happens to witch time. I live there. Me too. All of us do. <laughs> God damn it, I'm the goddamn governor. That would actually be... Brown bread. <laughs> Mike's over there playing with a laptop. That's good. Now, is Israel? <laughs> what's uh, happening, man? What, what's been going on this week, man? man I know you've been. Uh, you've been in, duct tape hanging and banging and everything. Rape. Yeah, I've been selling with crack in front of the uh, middle schools. Normal shit. Nah, man, it's been a great week, man. I like to <laughs> first say uh, thank you to everybody who's purchased one of the Israel T-shirts, man. You guys been great. Uh, I I'm looking at five people like, who don't uh, have one yet. <laughs> no, they're 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 coming. Uh, I sold two shirts in Peru. That makes me technically an international rapper. So yeah, two okay. shirts in Peru. Technically, uh, <laughs> a lot of people have been supporting me this week, man. I got a new video shoot coming up, uh, finishing up the DVD that I did. Who shoot? Who shoot the uh, music video? We got some. Um, Who shoot music? We got video? some. Uh, shout out to my boy Rob Wonder. He's shooting the video. Ah, oh, and uh, you lying. No, nah, no, nah, word to my mother, son. Ah. You know what I'm so, yeah, Yo, so man, I was disappointed ass. because hold on, I was disappointed because uh, I went to the show, uh, the Trillium show, and a uh, uh, Devil Driver, and I wasn't put on the list to get in to interview my friends at, uh, at uh, the Empire Fall. So, guys, I, I meant to be there. I apologize. You know, we'll take that up with Ryan. The same we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it. I know you guys kicked ass on that show, man. A big show for you guys, man. So uh, three one six up, man. That's that's rock our rap, you know. And it's been a great week, man. We've got some new sponsors coming to the station, and uh, for Mister Mike Game, brother. Tell Rob, I said, what up? What up, Rob? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He'll know. He'll know. Um, Say Mike Game says, what's up? He'll know. K Jag Radio got a lot of things coming to the top of year. Uh oh, you know me and Jake. We're getting, a, we're doing getting our a call. Thing. We're getting a call. The Israel, it, you're new to this. Hey, you're live on the yeah, air. Who is this? Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm dynamite. Yeah, everything is we're cool. Doing How are you guys doing? Here. What's up? Hey, 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 tell, tell us who you are. You're live with Mike Game, Business Kid, Israel, myself, and apparently One Direction. <laughs> yeah, we got One wow. Direction in the building. That's a cast of characters. Vinny from the band Sponge. Hey, what's going on, brother? How are you? Well, I'm doing good, you know. I'm just out here in Detroit grilling some food, man. In Detroit? Oh, yeah. The yep. band, the, the band the Sponge. City. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I heard it gets cold out there. I got a lot of homies out at Highland Park. Shout out to Detroit. Highland Park. Who said Highland Park? Do you know Thomas Israel. <laughs> Do you know it's, Thomas it's Israel? Israel. I got some homies that's uh, from Highland Park in Detroit. Man, no kidding. It's like Highland Park. There's, there's people that live in Detroit that won't go to Highland Park. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Well, Ooh, what we got going right. on is a goddamn radio show. And I'm telling you, and you're interrupting the fuck out of it. I, I love I'm it. I'm sorry for my rudeness. No, hey, hey. Know what? I lied. I'm <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> By the way, if you want to get more information, no. SpongeTheBand.com, and of course, Sponge is, uh, as Wikipedia says, an alternative yes. rock band from Detroit that was formed yes. in '91. Um, we're talking about somebody from fucking 91, dog? Yes! The 90s, baby! They're back! Dog, are we talking about That's fucking great. goddamn fucking, uh, what are those, those zebra print pants? 
Zebra breath. Right. What is those? Zoo boss. The zebras? Zoo boss. The zoo boss. We talking about that shit too? Are we talking about Anvil? Are we talking about Anvil? Are we talking about the band Anvil? No, we're talking to the band Sponge. I don't give a fuck. Hang up. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. We got real shit going on <laughs> with people who matter in this studio right now. Hey! We got three of the best rappers of all time in your studio. We got one of the best heavy metal bands of all time, even though they look like women. <laughs> I think they're going to beat your ass after that. My they God. They're going to beat my fucking ass. I don't give a fuck. Uh, well, hey, what's, what's, uh, what, what's Sponge been up to lately, man? I know Probably that... Uh, nothing. You fucking can... busting tables? Oh, my God. Busting tables? <laughs> All we're doing is making records and trying to stay out of prison. That's all we're trying to do. Oh, hey. Making less money than my game. Staying out of prison. Hey, prison making less money than my game is what they've go. done. That's all we're doing. That's all we're trying to do. So far, so good. Can't guarantee anything. Hey, hey, bud. I think uh, somebody in the studio is forgetting that Detroit has a trophy that they got last year. A lot of people want to talk about, oh, Detroit's bankrupt, but they this? forget to talk about the uh, – Detroit's pretty fucking gangster, too. Yeah, I know Detroit's pretty motherfucking gangster. My favorite rapper, Eminem. The mayor of the city. The mayor of the city, Detroit. But the thing is, we're not talking about Eminem. We're not talking about Royce 59 or anything great about Detroit. Calm down, Mike. No. Jesus. No, what we're trying to do shit with our goddamn radio show, and we got fucking We We had. Hey, we had. I had Sponge scheduled to call in. I had Aaron Hernandez. Just, reason. I was just waiting on him to give us a holler. You're, you're gonna have you're, you're gonna have to just Mike. Mike is uh he's he, what is he two I'm two weeks? People without least. You you are you are Come two weeks. Me. You are two uh, weeks two weeks off the pills. So <laughs> he's two weeks I'm sober off the pills. Forgive Can me. you tell? He must be taking pills to stay off the pills. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you gotta do. now, now, Sponge. Are you, are, you guys, are, you, are you guys talking to me because you couldn't get Kid Rock on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Kid Rock on the phone? Because that motherfucker popped up in the Eminem video. And My God, if if we got Kid Rock on the phone, I think he would. He'd pull one of those cartoon gimmicks where he'd come through. The, he'd punch through the phone. It would come out the other side and hit Mike. I'll be him and all his fucking redneck fans in <laughs> Now, uh, Sponge joining us today on Radio Xenu. Uh, also, they are. Uh, I was talking about this new band that we got sitting in our studio. Jeez, <laughs> we're gonna get to them. They're they're gonna have their own what little segment. Right now? They're gonna, gonna have, have their own fucking segment. Six year old <laughs> fucking band. We have lost control, and we're not only ten. We're not only ten minutes into the show. That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's like the whites took over fucking Africa. Oh we'll Jesus over your radio Christ! <laughs> We've made comments about Detroit now. America. <laughs> well, yeah, I was talking about uh, the 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 mayor from Detroit. Man, they gave him what thirty eight years. Thirty eight years. No, he, what's he, up? What's he, up with coming to Patrick? Twenty eight. Twenty eight years. A bright shining star uh, in the political uh, landscape of Detroit. Got 28 years in a federal penitentiary for uh, corruption. The mayor of the great city in the I mean, world, Wichita, Kansas. When we do things, when we do things they... in Detroit, we do it right. <laughs> this, is, this is the, <laughs> the thing that, that uh, fucks me up about was... it, bro. Is that how can anybody in America call anybody else corrupt? Corrupt corruption charges, really? Like you know what I in mean? America, like. We invented Damn, corruption. Man. It's in the Geneva Convention and the Constitution. <laughs> and everyone knows. <laughs> As a fucking member well, of the armed services, because I am. This guy, this, this guy took it to a whole other level. I don't know if you've seen Charlie I mean, or If you're going to be good, if you're going to be, if you're going to do something, you got to be good at it. Would you rather be like the Sam Bowie or the Michael Jordan of corruption? I want to be Jordan. No, if, I, if I'm going to right. be corrupt, I, you know I want to be bad. I'm you know, a, all the way. <laughs> I want to be like Middle if Eastern Iranian up, bad. You know? you know what, Israel? If I'm going to fuck some shit up, I want to fuck shit up on like epic, like non. Jesus. Non touchable levels. If I'm going to fuck some shit up. That's pretty much my point. Is that if you're going to be That's badass. That's why Kobe Bryant everything. You got to be life. badass. You know what I mean? You can't just be halfway badass. You can't be like, sometimes I'm a badass. You got to be all the way. And that's what I like about no, Detroit. He certainly was. 
You ever, you ever read those text messages between him and his, uh, his, uh, ex, um... Uh, no, because I don't care. I'm listening, bro. Oh, yeah, you... you go go you ahead. Jump, that. jump in there, homie. Jump in there. Bitch, you jump in and just check out life. Charlie LaDuff. He's got a new book. It's about the autopsy of the city of Detroit. And, uh, he talks about it crystal clear. Read those texts. Okay. Read that book. You'll see what goes on with that. Well, I'm going to let you know this, this right now. I'm from the greatest city in the history of the United States. Well, and that city the, is Miami, Florida. Great city in the United States. For cocaine. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> no, for everything. Which, which I, you know, in DC? I got a, you know, I got a personal. You don't like cocaine, you're a liar. One of the reasons why I like you Detroit know, is because, you know, only the greatest running back ever. Barry Sanders is from here, and he played in Detroit. So Wichita that's our Wichita Kansas. Detroit connection right there, right? That's What's one. Up? The second Wichita Detroit connection I'm gonna give you is a guy named Coleon Young. He played like five, fifteen minutes. Is. He played fifteen minutes in the NBA for uh, <laughs> for the Pistons. He no, went no, no. from Wichita. Coleon Young. That's like Coleman Young. Yeah, the yeah. He's from thing. he's from here too. The greatest thing Detroit gave the world is yeah. Eminem. Yeah. Greatest thing Detroit ever did was give. How us about a name. Henry Ford? How about Ford Motors? No. How, how about the Insane Clown Posse? How about about who? The Red Wings. About who? <laughs> the I Red Wings. Oh, that's right. No, no. Insane Clown Posse. Uh-huh. Red. See, see, he he don't understand shit because there cannot be Ferris Bueller's Day Off without Detroit, one of the greatest movies ever. If you're smoking marijuana, <laughs> everyone knows that. But I don't smoke marijuana. <laughs> I drink. So, so what do I have? Have you guys? Pu- that's why you don't have you understand. Have partied in Detroit? Does anybody have. that I'm talking to have a party in Detroit? Yep, I agree. What, so, in Detroit? Did, who, who, who did, vacations in Detroit? You said who does? No. Yeah, who does, yeah. As, Wasn't has, it not me in Detroit? Bro, I can't. What more has anybody, has anybody vacationed in Detroit is what you were saying. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people. Isn't that where they <laughs> hit <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Hoffa at? Isn't he in Detroit somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Poor people. Everybody knows that, man. <laughs> hey, what? Whatever happened to the bridge that they're going to build from Canada into Detroit? Did they decide to do that? If they ran you out of money. Bridge, the Hi. second span is going to be yeah, it's going to be made, but the state has uh, decided to make it with Canada, teamed up with Canada. One of the big uh, con- the contributors to Kwame Kilpatrick was Maddie Maroon. Maddie wanted to build the bridge. She's an independent, wealthy. Uh, Individual, he wanted to use his own money to build a second span. You know, I mean, that's the biggest border crossing in the United States. You know, what right? I mean? It's important. Yeah, well, I think a lot I, of my I marijuana sing, comes from a, that border. I sing in a rock and I sing in a rock and roll band, but we're talking about bridges and uh, corrupt <laughs> politicians. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I love man. this. And you're talking to you know, guys. you know, these guys make me look good. Politicians <laughs> want to be rock stars. Rock stars want to be politicians. You know, and all I that shit. That with a ten foot pole. You say what? I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. I wouldn't want. I would not want to be a politician. Hats off to these guys that want to do that kind of work. Well, it uh, pays well, and you can pretty much cheat whoever you want. So, and apparently, you can fucking take a whole month off. Yeah, you could just shut down the lab. Well, we don't want to work. We're just going to shut the government Listen, down. There, and then there's let's talk about who fucking depends on this income as a service member because I do depend on that income. Yeah, like he. It shuts depends down, on his income from his do. band. So let's talk about the band. <laughs> yeah. What's 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 the world has not gotten over the fact that we have a black president. You know what I mean? I absolutely I think agree can't with get you. Over that. No, they can't it, get over it. I, I think the whole deadlock in 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 D C right now is probably brought on not because of Obama yeah. here. I just think people can't get over the fact that there's a black president. I agree with you 100%. And I say the fact that we call him the first black president, I'm going to give you guys a, a historical lesson really fast, right? He's not even the first. The first black president, his name is actually John P. Henson. He served a one-year term, and yep. he was actually the first president under the Articles of Confederation. George Washington was the first president under the Constitution. So the fact that they call Barack Obama the first black president, one, he's just as much white as he is black. So the fact that they're like, because oh, he's, he's the first black, black president, like why don't they just, hey, he's 
the nah, first but whatever brightness he's got, people can't get over it. <laughs> and that nigga Bill Clinton. Now, Bill Clinton is just a thug. Bill Clinton's about that life. So, <laughs> I, know you, I know you kids. Now you, you, I'm talking you're to right about that, man. kids out here and I think that, that uh, studio. As artists, though. I know you hear about that, about that life. Bill Clinton is, in fact, about that life. Israel, go ahead. As artists, I think a lot of times we don't get a, enough credit for the social movements that we create through our music. If you think about the 70s and you think about the political movement then, it goes congruent with the music of the times. And that's why a lot of that shit's coming back. You know what I mean? So is that, is that why, why, they go hand in hand, bro. Is that reason why President Dinner is black, Malambo is blue? No, that would just be because of Young Jeezy. Okay, I just want to <laughs> so I want to know about the I band. I want to that. know about what you guys got going on. Uh, you know, no, we got a brand really new so record. We got a song Henry. we're working on. We're working on a brand new record. We got this new song. We're out there doing shows. Uh, we got a tour. We're going to fly up in December. We were out uh, on the road in uh, through the summer with a bunch of bands from the '90s: Everclear. Uh, uh, live, a band called Filter from back in the day. Yeah, we're all on the road. Uh, is Matchbox time, 20 but, uh, involved in this? No, Matchbox 20 is not involved in this sponge tour. Then I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, he, I, I thought he was singing with Carlos Santana these days. I haven't even, I didn't know what uh, he's been up to. That's, that's, what's his name? The singer from Matchbox 20. He said, what's the, what's the singer's name from Matchbox 20? Rob Thomas, and how dare you not know that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I was going to say Frank obviously, Zappa. Uh, obviously, we have some Matchbox 20 fans in the house. So. <laughs> uh, although, I, I don't know much about that guy. <laughs> well, uh... What what else has been going on with Sponge? How is how have you guys uh, embraced the social media? Listen, I enjoy talking about corrupt politicians. Now we're going to digress and actually talk about me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those fans. The other stuff was a lot more fun. <laughs> about their great music. Uh, okay, no, uh, no one cares funny. about that. Anyways, you got the University of Miami is playing some team today. No, it's Sunday. Uh, not what is the question? Today. They played yesterday. I, I, I don't know. Miami's undefeated, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what's going on there. My, Mike has just lost it's his robot. mind. He's lost his mind. We've got one of the guys from Spudge on the line with us. Let him not have Spudge on the line. Alex's new hot man in our fucking studio right now. My God. New hot we got these young kids out here making music. I just, That's right, commercial break. No, I'm, I'm playing some of their music here. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck that shit. I don't want to hear their music. Bitch kids want to hear their music. Fucking One Direction doesn't want to hear their music. No wonder Mike is the most banned man in the entire world. <laughs> and I'm the most paid man in any room I walk into. Jesus Christ. Come on, look at me. I'm young, fresh to death. I blink dollar signs. We got a we, like, we got Detroit calling in today, and you're yelling and screaming about Miami. Yeah, fuck Detroit. Jesus Christ. That's Miami's where it's at. That's my hometown. That's my city. Watch your first yeah, Miami, Detroit. Nobody's from Detroit. Nobody's from Detroit. <laughs> Nobody's from Detroit. <laughs> you guys have man. Eminem and no one else. He's not even I'm from Detroit. I'm Detroit right. public school system. I'm from Detroit. State, you're right. I'm from Missouri. <laughs> what about New England? What are you trying to say about New England, dog? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say about Tom Brady, bitch? <laughs> Try and get killed today? Well, hey, well, hey, brother, we've, we've, th this train has gone off the tracks. I will get with Barry and, and we'll get you back on at some point when we can, uh, <laughs> when we can have an actual conversation about the band and we don't have, uh, we don't have Carnival Markers and Hernandez fans in the building. Hey, you motherfucker, hey, you know I what? The you. next time you talk I about Hernandez, you're going to end up like great. fucking I, a Hernandez I, I, victim. Uh, we can talk about the band anytime. That's fine, man. But I had a great time talking with you guys. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Good luck staying off the pills. That's all I got to say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. Later. <laughs> all right, fellas. Thank you. Oh, man. Take care. Later. Bye. <laughs> we get one of the... I didn't need the whole world to know, Jiggy, that I'm fucking on the time. Fucking on this. We get... <laughs> <laughs>
kind of eating the whole world up. My God! Jesus! We're gonna take a timeout. When we come back, we're gonna get the guys in the studio on the line. We got, we got two. We got women walking across the parking lot out here. My guy, we got mine to go holler at him. Oh, we'll come back right there as well. Jesus! Just gonna beat the shit out of these guys while I'm talking. It's a circus. It's a circus. It is a world famous Cheeky Jaguar experience, coast to coast, to border to border. I feel like I've lived three lifetimes in that last segment. My God. 
You get the band Sponge from Detroit on the phone. And we're talking about corrupt politicians. Oh. Wait a second. We gotta have that camera. Here we go. Camera back up. We got, a, we got a we got a camera. We got Israel on mic. We got that right there. I don't know what Mike's doing in the camera. Throwing up ill prints is what I'm doing. Now, um, Israel, what what do you make of that last <laughs> segment? I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> My God. Well, let, let's do this. Uh, it is it is a world famous Cheeky Jaguar experience, coast to coast, border to border. Israel in the building. Yes, sir. He is, he is selling shirts to people in Peru. You dig? You're not. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, like I said, man, I, I've been blessed this year, man. I got so much support, and it's just kind of crazy, man, because it seems like one day as an artist, you know, I mean, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta uh, uh, squeeze blood out of turnip just to get anybody to listen to you at all, and then the next day it's like, you know, you just stay faithful and and persistent in what you're doing, and then people finally see a vision and it catches on. And then the support comes, man. And the support for his bands. What support means to a band, and I'm talking to the fans, what support means to the band is that's our fuel. That's what yeah. motivates us to keep going. You know, and we're very critical of ourselves, man. When we're we're in the um in the studio, we right. understand that everybody's not gonna like our shit, but we want everybody to. You know what I mean? Like we wanna make music that cross genres and and different things and so you got to support people and uh, you got to support people in their dreams if you want them to support you in yours and that's you know uh, can I step my in for a second? For as uh, I'm gonna step in for a second as a not a character I'm this is not my game being crazy King game King game this is my game the rapper um fans are very important as is rose saying yeah definitely um I mean you don't got no career my, without him I would have no career without yeah. them. Israel wouldn't have it. The thing is, my career is filled on a song that I absolutely loathe. <laughs> but my fans Jesus. love it. I shot a video for this song. It's a song called Muslim. But when I perform it, I barely perform it. Because my fa- the people there, what are you doing, biz? Business kid just sitting <laughs> over there. Busy. Okay, business kid is acting like he doesn't have a microphone in his hand. My fans, <laughs> when I perform the song, they're the ones doing my hook. They're the ones doing my chorus. They're the ones doing my verses because they know the song. And I don't like the song. So I, but I try to feel for it for the fans. Right, right. You, I mean, sometimes you got to do things for your fans. You know what I mean? Like, But right understanding... Now, Understanding uh, your fan base is is partly important too, man. That's that's yep. that's very big because you gotta you there gotta you know go. who supports you and you gotta make uh, music for your core fan base, not for you know the newcomers necessarily. Not that you don't welcome them in, but you can't make uh, you can't alienate your core fan base just for the sake of trying to get yeah. new fans. If you stay true to your sound and what it is you do, the then those people become fans too. And any day, man, I'd rather have 50 loyal fans than 5,000 who just want to follow you on Twitter. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we know, we know, like, when you're, when you're on your Twitter, your Facebook, and you see who's actually responding to your, right. your post, who's actually showing up to shows, who's actually buying CDs. You know what I mean? That, that important shit. Because I'm saying man, shit. I, uh, I don't think people really understand right now, man, that Wichita <clears throat> is a hotbed of talent. We we may not have blown up on like the national level, but there's talented bands. Man. There's talented singers. There's talented producers. There's, and there's three fucking people I support in this room. everybody. 316 up. There's three people right now. There's my gang. There's Israel. There's Business Kid. And then you got Big Sam. You got Prom Fascia. You got Keezy. You got John Keenan. Keezy is nice too. I know Keezy. And then you got fucking Big Steel. <laughs> okay, well, let's right. do this. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If All you don't right. listen to Mike Gang from I'm Awesome, I hope you die in a fucking fire. Okay, twice. well, twice. Twice. On Sunday. Wow. <laughs> On Sunday. After church. In front of Jesus wow. and your like mom. After day, Labor Day. <laughs> 
Yeah, this game could go on awesome. forever. Wow. Now, um, joining us on Skype, uh, we've got Ashley. Where Man. the fuck is Jay Marie at? She is on her way here. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Axeman's Bridge, and these guys are from Illinois. And uh, Illinois, Axeman's Bridge on the internet. Uh, check them out on Wix, w i x dot com slash band. That's their official website. Now we're and, uh, in studio. We got the motherfucking business kid. Forget about what you've heard. <laughs> Forget about ferrets and jello fights. We got business kid in the building. How y'all doing out there? We've got, we've got, we've got, we've got the man, the myth, the legend, uh, drunk as a skunk on a Sunday, Mr. Mike Game. I'm drunk every day. <laughs> and, and we've got. He's not short change these people. We, I'm drunk we, every we've day. We've got, we've got the man who is like a grilled cheese in a Cadillac, stylish but yet classy. Can I I'm say, talking can I about. Say, can, I say, can I say it? Go. Motherfucking is real. <laughs> there it is. Now. And uh, sitting on the uh, sitting on the the, the gold, we, we got the, we've got over on the couch. There's business kid. We got uh, we got over on the couch. One Direction. I like and, <laughs> and they have one one of their guys who is who is going to be a breakout superstar. Forget about what he you looks heard. like one. Cheeto, like the Rod Thomas of the Cheeto in the building. He's the Rod Cheeto. He's the, he's Rod the Rod Thomas, Thomas, of, Thomas of this group. He is going to go far. Or we've already got we got Beanie Babies on the way with his face on him. Right. He's going to do something to Carlos Santana. He's going to have a solo album that's going to be fucking phenomenal. And these guys are going to sign a shoe and leave it later. So we will Woo! have that live on And the on reason tape. why is because they want everyone to know that they kick ass. That's right. That's why. Everyone knows it. You just don't know it. It's in the Bible. That's right. You we just don't know it. And leave the shoe. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Who a, leaves a, a shoe? They're <laughs> gentlemen. I'm gonna kick your ass, but I'm gonna leave you a token they to are, remind you of the ass kick. They are the hair. They are the Aaron Hernandez of the heavy metal scene. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're all about leaving evidence. <laughs> They're all about leaving evidence, baby. <laughs> and you're taking a step in my Aaron direction. Hernandez jersey. Well, hey, let, let, let's do this. I am, I, I am, I've got Mike Game in Israel studio. Let's start it off with Israel. Israel started off with Axe Man's Bridge there. What's happening, y'all? In Illinois, right? Green, yeah. Gre- y'all Bears fans? Hell yeah. Yeah. You said yeah. Hell yeah. Strike one. I'm a Vikings fan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a great> <laughs> now, <laughs> hey, I want to. Uh, Speaking of Illinois, Chicago, my uh, spiritual advisor, his brother, is actually the assistant coach for the Chicago Bulls. So, uh, shout out to Adrian Griffin. And uh, they'll be in Wichita coming uh, the 23rd. Uh, All my friends, see, I I got a whole bunch of family from Chicago. The bad parts are probably the guys you see on the news shooting people. But don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. I still got love for Illinois. And uh, so, how y'all doing up there, man? What's up? What's the weather like? Drinking on a Sunday. Drinking on a Sunday? Only thing yeah, that yeah. only Sunday thing that's Monday. better than drinking on a Sunday is drinking on a Sunday while seeing titties. Are there any titties around? <laughs> Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> no, man boobs don't count. We like ours organic. <laughs> we like them grown that way. So tell us about what you guys got going on. Well, we are a five-piece rock band from South Chicago, Illinois. And South Side. Yep, yep. yep. My and, family, uh, yeah, my family uh, stayed down the street from Midway. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I got well, Ru- Archer Fairbank. Uh, I, now forgive me if I pronounce the r- street wrong. Um, Henry, H O N R O E. I don't know. Sure. No, no. It's, it's where the black people are at. Don't worry. That's where the black people are at. The don't cops, worry. The cops know where it's at. I assure, I assure you. The cops know where it's now, at. Now, speaking of Chicago, recently I heard a very funny name. It's Chirac. funny. Yes. What's up with the Chirac shit? Have you heard about it? Yeah. It's pretty sad, huh? Don't go, don't go near Southside. Like, no, don't go near Southside Loop. That's not racist. I wouldn't either. 
I wouldn't even, <laughs> that sounds racist. It might be, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some black people scare me and I'm black. So I'm only it is what it is. All black people scare me. So where you guys touring it? And most Mexicans. Just, just local right now. Uh, we've been around uh, Illinois, Indiana. We, uh, we're going up to Michigan, but why? Uh, why? We don't know if that's going on yet. Yo, how come? How come no Kansas dates? We're only nine hours away, homie. Wichita, Kansas is only nine hours away from Chi Town. Right. <laughs> no, come, come get this money. Money. show then. <laughs> come get this money, as Mike said. <laughs> so, so what's the name of the album? I uh, actually, we haven't, we haven't just, even worked that out yet. The name of the album is just Axman's Bridge for right now. Southern Comfort. That's yeah. right. Name, name, uh, name, name, name it after an alcohol sponsor. I'm going to name a couple names. And you guys say yay or nay, okay? All right. Hey, have something covered. That's all they need is, bro. That's all they need. Well, yeah, the drink, but they need a title for the album, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. So covered is a great title for anything. Number you know. one is very simple, you can but name your child that. it's impactful, right? Number yeah. one is simply bitches, right? <laughs> bitches. I like it. Just I like bitches. It. But you gotta say it real hard, like. Bitches. You know what I'm saying? Bitches. Every size B. Oh, we already got that. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you say it, when you say it like that, it's like a term of endearment, like boo or deer. So when you come home, you're like, hey bitch, can I get something to drink? Bitch. It's a different it's the same as saying, Hey honey, can I have if a guess need some help? All some right. shirt will help you out. Okay. Yeah, what what's what what's what's the second one, Israel? Let's see. Number one would be uh Well number one was bitch. Number one was bitches, right? Number two was uh, twerking with the stars. <laughs> twerking with the stars, no? But so All in right, America. No. Number three is, uh, we're going to go with number three. Let's see, Chicago, right? Sears Tower. Okay, this one has nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> but it's called, if you don't buy my record, I'll murder your face twice. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Do it. Like, you like that one? Is that a winner? That is a win. Hey, you know what? How about this? How about this? You name your album. No. If you don't buy this album, you become like a Chief Keef lyric. Yeah, what do you think about... Do you guys listen to any... Uh, like, yeah, listen to rap. Do you guys listen to hip-hop or anything? Because you guys only have Kanye West because Chief Keef scares me. and I'm on, uh, Kanye West scares me. No, okay, see. <laughs> He's like... See, the thing is, Chief Keef is from Chicago, and I fought in two wars. I fought in Iraq and Afghanistan... And he scares me as a person. <laughs> like, I feel like Chief Keith needs monitored. <laughs> like, I can't see him in real life. Like, he might kill me. I feel like he will. Yeah. He's 16, and he'll kill me. I mean, because there's a lot of why? Us cyber thugs out there. Why? Why? Right. Because, why? Because of some shit that he don't like. I don't know. <laughs> All Make right. Make sure there's shit he don't like. B and A, Mike. Shit, he don't like these. These are no, these no, are no, actually sir, 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 sir. These are sir, chief key. Sir, no, sir, no, sir. No one's a chief key fan here. We're talking about <laughs> fucking. <laughs> We're talking about X Men Bridge in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? How did y'all come up with that name in Chicago? <laughs> we live right down the street from uh, X Men Bridge. Oh, okay. Oh my God, there's an actual Axe Man's bridge. Right. I mean, it sounds like a cool name. See, we don't have that in hip hop. Like we, we just like. Come up with shit. Yeah, we come up with shit that sound cool or fresh, but like, rock, it could be something that don't even have nothing to do with shit, but it just sounds cool. You know what I mean? But in rap, like, you gotta, I don't know, it gotta be like OG Bullet Wound or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. I Killed My Mama I'll Twice. Make a little Crip Thug. You know what I'm saying? Little, little yeah. Crip Thug. And some titties. <laughs> yeah, well, Young Blood Gang, I, homie. This is what I wanna tell you is that. I got a theory, and my theory is that, and if you guys apply this to your music, I'm going to give you two tips, right? If you apply this first one to your music, you're going to sell more. The first one is that titties improves everything by 12.3% on average. <laughs> everything. Everything. All you got to do is in the middle of, like, you know, one of your songs, like, I want to ad libs be like, titties. And you can, you can put it real quiet so that the subconscious mind picks up, like, and then we you're right, you're right on that one? And then yeah, even, yeah, see, yeah, and see, yeah, yeah. And see, <laughs> and, see, and, see you know I mean? and see, they don't even need to be good titties. Yeah, they well, can be bad titties. But uh, it's just uh, that's why I said on average. Now, if you said something like regular um, titties, P 
Pamela Anderson titties, then it's like 23%. But sometimes it's hard to rhyme Pamela Anderson titties with. There you go. The number two one I'm going to tell you is I'm going to tell you about an unknown distribution chain of music that you may not have known about in Chicago, right? Strip clubs. Chicago has whores. Every place does. What you do is you find a local pimp and you give him CDs, right? You tell him to upcharge on his hand jobs and his blow jobs by ten dollars. So that way, you make more money off of every service he gets, right? Because the CD comes for within every bit, the service. Every motherfucker that gets blown, Dude, they think get a about fucking it. fucking axe, fucking man bridge. CD. Exactly. And then when people say, hand "Hey, jobs and CDs, my nigga," when they say your band is blowing up, <laughs> they will really mean it. <laughs> Just think about it. It's what Jesus wants. Hey, it's so quick thinking, Cap. You know what? What you do is you take the cap off, you put it in there, you think about that for later. I'm telling you. That's right. Think about this, boys. You guys don't want to make Jesus mad. And that's what he wants. He told me last night in between blunts. He said, my son, there'll be a band from South Side of Chicago that'll be on your show tomorrow. Tell him the word it's about titties. Sometimes Jesus talks to me. And I said, I Lord, if that's thinking. what you want. He said, yes. That's, that's what, what we going with. Yeah, sometimes Jesus talks to me too, and then I just like keep drinking and he shuts up. So. But this was white. Yeah, but this was white Jesus, which is different from black Jesus, and everyone knows that. That right? is racism. So this is white. racism in this room was palpable. Jesus created racism so it's holy. Everyone knows this. <laughs> it's holy racism. Let, let me ask y'all this question. Where can we find the band at on the web? Yeah. Like, how do we go find your music? Oh, you can find us on Reverb Nation, uh, okay. Facebook. Uh, we have an actual... Um, but, like, what, was the, what is it? www.xmansbridge.com And you can go from there and you can find all kinds. There's links on every page to everything, Facebook. Uh, Reverb Nation. YouTube. How Just, long? Uh, if you do a search on uh, Reverb Nation or Facebook, it hey. would be the first one to pop up. I have a question. Well, sure. wait, 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 wait a sec, Mike. We're, we're going to do something special with you here in just a second. Hold on. <laughs> Israel, did jump in there. A couple more questions, and then we're. How long do... have you guys been together as a band? Uh, uh, only a year. Yeah, yeah. about a year. About how a year. long? Yeah. How long have How long have you guys been friends? Uh, oh man. Years, uh, 15. 10, 15 years. How long do you guys want to stay friends? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, a few months here. <laughs> everybody, I mean, that's the sign of a great band. You have to break up and hate each other. Uh, so keep that in mind. I watch behind the scenes music direction. all Not the time, the and that's what happens oh, all the time. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys working on an album? What, what are you yes, guys doing? We are currently. Putting together a demo, uh, trying to put together a demo. Okay. Um, and just trying to get ourselves out into, out in the show scene. I mean, we're going to be playing a Halloween show here at a, at cool a place shit. called Another Hole in the Wall in Stager, Illinois, and then we got another show on November 9th out in uh, Plainfield, Illinois, at a bar called uh, Uptown Tap. Okay. And then that's from there, we're just going to keep trying to plug ourselves out there and get our music out. Man, you guys are doing a good job. You made our show, and I have six billion followers on Twitter. Trust awesome. me. I have 12. <laughs> but they all haven't have signed. 12. Only 400 have billion, signed up, though. Just 12. That's right. Don't worry. The, only 400 signed up, but the rest are going to do it. The servers were down, and yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it got real. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Axeman's Bridge, if you want to hold on just a second, I have to set this up. Um, we are going to do an impromptu two questions with Mike game. Are we doing that? And what what this is is Mike Game will ask you two questions. Doesn't matter what they are. They can be whatever the hell he wants, but it's two questions with Mike Game. They're not offensive. They're not they're not offensive. Uh, actually they are they, they are they are approved by uh, the people who make SoCo, whoever that is. Uh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> the angels cut. <laughs> it's so good all now, uh, Mike Game is, of course, uh, our buddy. He is, uh, he is, he is drunk as hell all the time. <laughs> the uh, times I'm not drunk is when I'm asleep. Exactly. <laughs> and 
So here, here we go. Let's take it. Let's go with it. Two crutches of my game, Axe Man's Bridge. Let's go. Axe Man's Bridge. You guys ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't hear any enthusiasm for Axe Man's Bridge. Can, can we get a hell yeah? Can we get a hell yeah? Can we get a hell fuck yeah? yes? Can yeah. we get something? Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, yo. Can we get an L-Prim, bitch? We don't know. No. Just say l bitch for me, please. The old print bitch. There you go. Thank you. I heard it. <laughs> uh, question number one. Can I change my rap name from King Game to Axeman's Bridge? Am I allowed to do that? It sounds way cooler. <laughs> uh, gotta add some folklore behind the name. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta come up with a story behind it. Okay. I Can my story be that I once annually raped Whoa. Trick I don't know I don't know what this is going it's not a no. at all. Jesus does not approve of this message I did my backstory how much show code did you drink <laughs> yeah, how much there's so never code? enough how much so time code? do you got buddy there's never enough so code that's not a real question Jig will tell you there's never enough SoCo. There's never enough SoCo in his life, but uh, Biz Kick is eight ass shit too. I, I I feel like I single handedly fucking keep them in business. <laughs> I drank my liquor store out of Southern Comfort on four different occasions. <laughs> and when I, saw, I drank them out of Southern Comfort, there's no shooters, there's no half pints, there's no pints, there's no liters, there was no gallons. Well, that uh, happened. What's the second question? Yeah. Well, what, what, what second question was? Can I? Can the backstory be that I only rate triplets? That was the second question. Are these triplets over eighteen? Of course, they better be. I, I'd hope so. Are they? I don't want to be a molester. Yeah, they can Are they? Join? Huh? Are they, they can join? join? That oh, would be. Can, oh my god! <laughs> Technically, that would only count as one. <laughs> one would be cool. That would be. Are they can join? That, I heard of two birds and one stone, but not three. <laughs> so we have a whole new can of worms here. Like now I'm like now mainly Redbean can join twins. Now now this opens up a whole new can of worms. I don't even have I can't even process this in my mental state. I don't okay, let me I can't, just I can't process this is a somehow. disclaimer. Now, not everybody annually rapes can join twins in Kansas. <laughs> just some. Just, it happens. Just my game. It happens. Just my game. <laughs> I, I guess some people just need to be annually raped. <laughs> it happens. From time and, to time. and they need it. And they need duct tape and a cupcake. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> For about yeah. Race. I'll tell. I'll tell you guys a story. <laughs> Me and my friend, we've been friends since like second, third grade, right? So one day we're walking to Walmart, and I tell him, I was like, "Hey." I miss your mom. You remember when I used to spend the night with you and you fall asleep early? Well, yeah, I'm your little brother's dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So he responds to me. He responds to me, shut up for I duct tape and butt rape your mom. <laughs> it was funny as old white lady sees us and she's like freaking out. And I said, well, if you're going to duct tape and butt rape my mom, you better give her a cupcake. So if you got to duct tape or butt rape somebody, it's okay if, if you give them a cupcake. <laughs> But then with I the, fuck around huh? with, with sprinkles. We got sprinkles in here too. <laughs> and then I fuck so around. So when the judge asked you what happened, you're like, Your Honor, I gave him a cupcake. It even had sprinkles. And they're like, Case dismissed. <laughs> and then I accidentally <laughs> fucked around and actually butt raped somebody with duct tape. And if you're nice, you can get the eco friendly kind that deteriorates good in the environment and all oh, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm and it pulls off of. Like twenty three percent less hair. I only use lambskin condoms. Okay, I mean, I don't know condoms. where this is going, X Men. I don't know. We lost control. A while ago. I'm lost, Captain. <laughs> I, all I'm saying is, my condoms are biodegradable. Giving back to <laughs> Give it to bitches. Give We're going down a long dark. We dark, we are dark. going down a long dark hallway, and. uh I, I, I thank you guys for being with us today. I apologize for, it, for just getting to you guys, but how, how do we, to, yeah, fine. How do we find you guys on the internet? Uh, uh, we're at uh, xmansbridge dot wix dot com. That's uh, like xmansbridge dot wix dot com. Our band and studio. One Direction is like I like the streets. That's our name. 
They just uh, highlight the streets. That's right. Highlight the streets in the building. They just liked your Facebook page. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, uh, I'm fucking Wichita, Kansas. when you guys come through Wichita, you need to have them open for you. Right on. Right on. If you don't, right if, you, you. if you do not have these guys open for you, I will fight you. Yeah, you guys should look at them <laughs> because I'm sure that they could turn you guys on to some of the shows here and you could be, uh, show swap. That's how it works, I think. That's how it works. Up, we'd, be, we'd, be, we'd be glad to do that. Be awesome. There better be SoCo. Yeah, it's all yeah. Here, man. Hey, but it's, it's all about SoCo. Hey, it's all about SoCo. You, I don't hey. even do rock, but I'm I, I'll be there. You guys do a show. You I'm say the word SoCo, and with, my game is there. I know a midget who has. <laughs> <laughs> I know a I midget with anything. triple D. I'll rap. bring her. Yes, Israel. Israel will bring his midget with triple D's. She'll be there. Yes. <laughs> you guys gotta be careful though, because she tends to fall over. She's a little top heavy. <laughs> Like Kool Aid Man. <laughs> so let me ask she you this also question. Always says, we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, one more question before we go, Axe Man's Bridge. Jump in there, Israel. Now be honest about it, okay? And if you don't want to answer, just look at me like I got shit on my face. I can see you through Skype. All right? <laughs> I want to see you. Now, our president, which Mr. Uh, 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 Rush Everybody Limbaugh. Myself. Rush Rush Limbaugh. Boy refers to as the food stamp president, right? Have you ever heard that? Pretty funny, huh? The food stamp president. How do you guys feel about the government shutdown with him being from the shop? You know it's kind of like a black eye on you guys, right? Last time there was an Illinois president, there was a civil war. Great point. Great fucking point. (laughs) Great point. Let's hope that doesn't happen because I like white titties as much as I like black titties. That's a great point. Well, you know, you're the only you person that said that. Thanks for Barack Obama because my name for Barack Obama is nigger. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. 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 I'm black. I can say that. I'm black. My father is My God. Kid. <laughs> Business kid. What'd you get yourself into? Some of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barack Obama. It's like Michael Myers when uh, Kanye West said that about uh, Right. <laughs> I just shit myself so twice. I do what I want. <laughs> I shit wow. myself twice. I just want to say, Mr. President, everybody. that yeah. the views of some are not expressed by everybody. I would leave another straight out, Barack Obama. You're a goddamn nigger. If you got a problem with it, come see me. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm in your military, Barack Obama. Mike is gonna disappear. I fought in your Iraq. I fought in your Afghanistan, Barack Obama. You got a problem with hey, guys. See me. Illuminati. <laughs> see me. We all we all agree, right? Kansas, Chicago, so that we never knew this guy. Uh, <laughs> we all agree. No. You guys are my witness. No, no, my witness. no, no, no. Everybody, Everybody knows my Illinois. game is <laughs> Everybody knows my game is set in Kansas. Jeez and those God. goddamn sunflowers. And apparently now they know him in Illinois as well. Uh, it goes sunflowers. Jesus is not pleased. And it goes Jesus is sunflowers. Not pleased. The Kansas City Chiefs, my game. I'm going to take nine bitches. Well, X-Man's, wow. X-Man's Bridge, thanks for being on. Thanks, guys. You've been great. I appreciate great. it. Thanks for being on, guys. Yeah, thank you for taking my stuff. We'll talk to you guys soon, later. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ on a stick. In real life, though. You are literally going to get an investigation by the United States government. Bro, I got a letter two days ago. They are going to up to your house. Dude, I, two, two days ago, I got a letter of separation from the Army, so fuck everything about the government. Oh. Allegedly. I'm with the white kids. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm with the white allegedly, kids. Allegedly. I tested positive nope, for You guys don't count. <laughs> uh, uh, allegedly, I tested positive for codeine in the army. Who? Lean. For who, those who are not familiar. Who, how could that happen? I mean, it must have magically got in your system. Okay, so while the thing you is, I drink a lot of lean. That's what I'm trying to say. So I didn't use sheepskin condoms. <laughs> Great point. Great point. I like the motherfucking streets. Hallelujah. These are some cool guys, man. You, you, well, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna talk to them in the next hour. We got we got to call Ryan from the Cotillion here in a few moments, but we're gonna take a quick time out. Let everybody go have a smoke break and all the shenanigans. My thanks to Axe Man's Bridge. I'm sorry, President. It wasn't me. And uh, we'll be back after this on the big. Show. Fuck you, Obama. My God! What the fuck? My game! What the shit? Everything down!
walking collar with nowhere to go Slipping back to work to put his head in a hole, yeah Nerve to bitch and complain that all the walls around him are always the same. He has his problems, but don't we all stop that in questions? Man, the answers will come. You want to change the world, you can't stand by. No man, it stops inside You gotta stop stumbling in darkness And start walking in light You wanna change the world, you can't stand by Every four years he goes out and votes For the lesser two evils he sees in While I go
Gonna bask in the sun while I'm made And she said I'm on my way again Gonna save my tears for the happy days I've been hard on myself And I'm always hearing it from everyone else But it's much, much easier when you let it flow Cause when you look inside, you already know Which card to play Which road to travel, see Cause I'm on my way Gonna bask in the sun while I made it She said I'm on my way again Gonna save my tears for the happy days It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar experience, coast to coast and border to border, all over the World Wide Web, RadioZenu.com, also uh, TalkRadioX.com. We have on the phone uh, my good, close, personal, longtime friend, Mr. Ryan from the Cotillion, and uh, in studio... We got Israel, your homie's big homie. Your big homie's big homie that supply the hood, that supply the streets, uh. that supply the city. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and we've got business kid, BET rap star business kid. <laughs> when I become a BET rap star. <laughs> and, uh, and, of course, Ryan, we all know Mike Game. He's, he's, he's here. Oh, he's being loud, as usual. You know what? I'm not proud. <laughs> We didn't expect anything else, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we got and we got highlight the street highlight in the, the building. Street. It took me forever to get this their name. Mike kept referring to them as One Direction earlier. Because they look two exactly, different bands. They look exactly <laughs> like they look right. exactly like One Direction. <laughs> One Direction, One Direction like, has two Mexicans. No. <laughs> We're not British enough. One, They're not British enough. They're, They're and Enough. All, yeah, all those guys look like they have a, in one direction. Just got to work on the accent a little. That's right. They got to work on they the accent. They don't anything like these guys. The One Direction guys, they uh, those guys have like tramp stamps. And They're not man. really even me. One thing is, I'm old. <laughs> like, I'm if you're old. a boy and you got a tattoo above your butt, it's a problem. You need to go, <laughs> you need to go talk to your father. Well, well, yeah. about well Jiggy, man. Ryan, Israel, I'm old. So all these bands, they look like to me because I'm an old man. I'm, we're all older than you, though. <laughs> so these, they all look the same to me. They're all One Direction. I, I'm coming to hang out. And if we guys. had one guy here, I would call him Justin Bieber. He would be well, fucking, he would the, be uh, fucking Aborigines. And, you know, the I've often, black person of Australia. The so, Ryan, what's up, I've, brother? I've often heard Ryan from the Cotillion referred to as Justin Timberlake. <laughs> never. Never. Like Ryan, so never. Like never, 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 never. We're, we're, never, not, never. we're not going down that path there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jer- Justin Timberlake gets bitches. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Capital B. Did, uh, Emphasis Jessica on Alba? itches. Al- did- I think I got my first erection to her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm just now, uh, now, now, Ryan, let's talk about uh, the 19th. Hairball is coming back to the cotillion. This is like a is cornucopia of there? craziness. It's a never-ending rock show. You've got like 80s uh, bands. You've got a guy who looks like a Freddie Mercury out there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Freddie Mercury, Prince, uh, Gene Simmons. Uh, is you got all there. They, they cover them all. They cover everybody. And, okay, uh, my question is being asked. There's like 10 different sets they do. But it's one band... One band, one band. They have uh, two lead singers, so oh, that's they, pretty dope. You know, doing uh, costume changes and getting ready for the next set, while you know the other ones out there uh, doing that uh, ATDT no, or, or you know whatever. So 
It's uh, it's uh, nonstop action. I like the cornucopia of craziness. Is a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so which get, which get, set? The, get the spandex out and the Aquanet? I think we'll be selling the Aquanet that night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which which set is your favorite, Ryan? Which set did they do? I don't know. It's it's a good. Mi- I don't know. They do Prince really good. I'm not gonna lie. Prince is real good. The Kiss that's good. All of them. They all. I mean, they all fit. You know fit the band that they're doing at the time it's uh it's it's quite the show you hey like, ryan to do prince you gotta be fucking great that guy's amazing man hey ryan quick question yeah are you aware that prince is the greatest musician of all time am i gonna what i said are you aware that prince is the greatest musician of all time prince is I, it, prince is well it's uh let, is question. He prince or is it the symbol or or whatever you know, I didn't whatever he's doing today. Have you seen the Cowboys' new CD? I, 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 I will kill some Purple Rain. <laughs> have you, se- <laughs> you gotta, uh, you gotta. Have you seen the Cowboys' new CD? He has Dave Chappelle dressed up as Prince for the cover of his new CD. <laughs> <laughs> That's how ill Prince is. Uh, Ryan, I think that when I'm back in Wichita, you gotta go purify yourself in Lake Minnetonka. In the waters. In the waters, like baby. In the, in, in the waters. <laughs> I was hate man. Talk. That was funny. This I got a love hate relationship with Prince though, because on one hand he's great, you know, as a musician, but on the other hand he's the only guy in life who feathers his bangs, wears high heels, and still might steal your girl. You know, he will steal your, your girl, girl dog. dog. He will steal your girl. He will steal your fucking mom. And he he will steal your grandma. And he ain't gonna even Prince say will nothing take like, every woman that you know. Yeah, he's like, you know, four foot tall with his deep ass voice. And this is all he's going to say to steal your girl. Him like, hi, I'm Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's That's getting tucked. And she's like, ah, Prince. We wear the same Everybody's getting tucked. Everybody's getting tucked. Follow me. Follow me. You said you too, Ryan? Ryan's like, I'm not even gay, but... um. Prince said, "What's up?" I so I heard I, that if you look Prince directly in the eyes for more than five seconds, you'll be gay. That's what I heard. What I've heard I'm scared, is I'm scared to try it, but what I've heard is that you look Prince for more than five seconds in the eye, you instantly make out with him. I never heard that. One. I've never heard that either, and I don't think Ryan has that, either. The only thing is, the only reason why I know that exists is it happened. That's a first. So it only happened to me. Is what you're saying. It yeah. only happened to me. Yeah, pretty much. So I got mouth rape. I, I, I don't know how twice. I make the transition to this. Twice. Twice. I got <laughs> but, my twice. Okay. <laughs> but okay, another, that was clear. That was uh, clear. Another show that we got coming up at the Cotillion, Charlie Robinson and Roger Krieger, on Wednesday, the 23rd of October. This event is all ages. Doors at 7, show at 8. Talk to me about this show. What's this going to be like, Ryan? Well, it's a uh, night of red dirt and uh, Texas country uh, music. Uh, those, those guys have been around a little while and uh, touring out together. And uh, I don't know if you're a fan of red dirt or, or Texas uh, country. You know that not the the pop stuff on the radio. Right. Uh, I always prefer you know Texas and red dirt country is more more uh, southern rock than anything. But uh, well, it, it's a uh, cheap show, only twelve fifty. So. Yeah, that's that's pretty cheap. Did you realize that? We, we, Go ahead. We we keep them cheap. You know, most of most of the shows are under twenty. We try to keep it cheap. You know, times are tough, but you still got to get out and party and have a good time, listen to some good music. So what you're telling me, Ryan, is that um, the government is shut down, but the cotillion is not. <laughs> we're not shut down. We're not government. We're not funded by the government, local, state. Uh, or federally, so you know we're we're good to go. We don't shut down. You're funny by the good kick ass people of Wichita. Everyone knows it, right? We all know it. We read it. It's in the hey. Quran. Hey. It's in the Ready Quran. Ready. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go on record and say the Cotillion's the best venue in Wichita because I've seen rock shows there. I've seen rap shows there. Me and Jiggy we went to wrestling shows at the Cotillion. Yeah, and I'm, a, I'm just gonna, Ryan. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I've There's, in my heart, I boycotted. In Trust Bank Arena. <laughs> I have not because I actually bank only, in Trust only Bank way, Arena. Only way I would ever go to a show at In Trust Arena is if it was Van Halen 
Jesus was singing lead and Moses was playing drums. That's the only way. <laughs> and you know what? Hey. And, and you know what, Ryan? The only reason I would go to a show at Interest Bank Arena is if it wasn't at the Cotillion. The <laughs> 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 only reason I'd go. That's, that's, that's a fair trade, I guess. <laughs> fair I'm just saying, come like on, like, fair. Interest, I mean, really... It's, That's my it, name. it was bullshit anyway, because we really didn't even need the arena. You know what I mean? Like, it's so much other shit that we could have deal with the money as a community. And then, you know, like, unless you're a teeny bopper, you know what I mean? There's no shows down there anyway. And it just doesn't have that classic feel that the Cotillion does. Arena shows kind of suck sometimes, you know what I mean? In real life. Yeah, you, you know, they are, they are what they are, you know. But, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't hate on any other venue. Anybody that's trying to bring live music, you know, build up the music scene. That's the name oh, yeah. That don't worry, I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, my God. I just want them to play misses. one black artist in Interest Bank Arena. It could be fucking Seal. We talked about him earlier. I know, you know, and... It's uh, it comes down to the, the national. I mean, they're they're uh, you know Live Nation, AEG, big uh, worldwide, the two biggest worldwide promoters yeah. in the world. You know, they gotta the the artists gotta want to come to town, and the promoters want to have to want to bring them. So, uh, you know, they you know they want to bring stuff. I've talked to some of the management there, and they just you know doesn't work out. But uh, you know, you gotta start somewhere, and we 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 try to keep some variety for everybody. And, Bring it all. Last night oh. we had Art Aid, which I benefit for uh, Positive Directions, and uh, it's uh, a big runway show. It's Island Art Auction. The DJ uh, Rabbit Drums from uh, LA. He did stuff uh, on the Oscars with Britney yeah. Spears. Will I Am? What? Right. I mean, it was a hell of a show. It's always a big party. Uh, but tonight we or today we have a uh, Kansas Geological Society out here, so we do uh, we do everything, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I seen uh I've seen a lot of shows out there, man. I seen uh Life Jennings and like I, I always tell all the independent artists that's from Wichita, I've made so many connections like in my career just for the fact that your venue was there. Yeah. For me yep, to be yeah. able to get out and meet those other artists. Uh, I did a song with Glasses Malone from Cash Money. Yeah. I wouldn't have met him had Tech not been here doing the show there. You know, and man, you guys yeah. have been gracious to me. Except for the one time you guys kicked me off property for passing out flyers, but I forgave you for that. <laughs> I forgave you, you for that. You gotta get permission for that. <laughs> you gotta get permission for that. I asked Jesus and he said yes, <laughs> but apparently Ryan said no. So you're the god of the round mound of sound. So I exactly. Out. I put off like I put two more on and ran off. I just had to feel good about myself, Ryan. <laughs> Don't take all my dick. Well, some people call, some some people call me rock and roll Jesus. But I cut my hair so it's not, you know, I don't got the Jesus look going as much. <laughs> rock and roll Jesus is, anything, is just as kick ass as hip hop Jesus. Except for hip hop Jesus. Hip hop Jesus. Hip hop Jesus curses and he likes twerk videos. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you. Jesus isn't real. Oh, Jesus, uh -oh. Mike game, uh -oh. Mike, Mike game. A word there. Uh oh. <laughs> That's right. That's don't, a no don't, fact. Don't, don't bite. Don't bite. No bite. <laughs> Speak, speaking of a speaking of a show that's coming up that uh, you can believe in. I don't know how I made that transition. Yeah, I, need to, I need I need award for this. <laughs> <laughs> Filter is coming to the Cotillion on November sixth. And um, um, yeah. you added local Barrel Bright to it. That's going to be Barrel a huge Bright. show. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Filter, Fight or Flight, not and uh, nothing more. And there's a couple guys from uh, Disturb. Oh, uh, that's cool. And Fight or Flight. So, yeah. And then Barrel Bright. We just got them on there, and they are – it is their official last show ever at the Cotillion with Filter. So oh, that's damn. only 15 bucks. That's November 6th. Uh, it's a uh, hell of a show for only 15 bucks. So, um, Ray, rock and roll. Yeah, speaking of rock and roll, Ryan, we were in a studio today with Highlight the Streets and New Band coming up in Wichita, man. They're pretty kick ass, so you should be on the lookout for them, too. What's up, Ryan? Highlight the Streets. Highlight the Streets. They like titties. We got it. Like titties. Oh, there you go. See? <laughs> Who does it? Nah, yeah, see? Nah, they're, they're young guys, man. I like them. We got them in the studio today. And uh, so I wanted to kind of introduce you to them. Be on the lookout for them, man. They've been making some noise. I don't even listen right, to rock that much. 
Unless I'm high. You planted the seed. The seed is planted. (laughs) (laughs) Now it was up to them to mature it and water it. Yeah. <laughs> you did your part, right? Yeah, I did my part. That's, That's right. We did our part. And it cost them $50 in food stamps, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm eating steak tonight. <laughs> poor people. You know it, you know it, was, it wasn't a cheap date, baby. It wasn't a cheap oh, no. date. <laughs> well, before we let Ryan go, let's talk about Clutch. Clutch is coming up at the Cotillion. I um, love Clutch. <laughs> Mike so, game. I love clutch. That's love right. Clutch. Ryan loves clutch, and he runs the damn venue. I love clutch <laughs> my nuts. Uh, uh, two years ago, when I used to manage Steve Trey Post on Harry and Rock, <laughs> the uh, drummer from Clutch came in a lot. That's why I like them. Shout out to Clutch. Shout out so, to Clutch. Shout out to Clutch. Shout out to Clutch. Out to clutch. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, tell us about some of the openers that are going to be on this, because it's not just Clutch playing like a four-hour show. <laughs> no. You never know. They, they could do two, two and a half hours. I, it depends on the night, man. I, they do a different set every night, but uh, Clutch, November 15th with the sword. Uh, a lot of sword fans out there. I don't think they've ever been to Wichita. I don't know where they up there would have been. Uh, but in the American Sharks, the American Sharks are uh, awesome. They're kind of similar to Clutch, but you know, no one like Clutch, so it's kind of you know hard to put them in a certain genre or anything. But uh, November fifteenth, you at the Cotillion. Tickets only twenty two bucks in advance, so and uh, they're selling well. So get out there. Don't wait until it uh, when it sells out and bitch about not uh, having tickets. Get right. early, save some money. <laughs> and not only that. Go buy your T-shirt so you can jump front in line. Duh. That's right. right? Yeah, wear the shirt. Get to the front of the line. For everyone who doesn't know, if you buy a Cotillion T-shirt, when you go buy your purchase, your tickets for the shows, you get priority in line. It's getting colder outside. You don't want to be outside all day. You know, get your shirt. Support the, you know, the venue that supports us. Hey, it might be November 15th. It might be 100 degrees the way the weather's been. So it might be hot outside, so you don't want to stand out in the heat. But Right. You know. Well, Ronnie, <laughs> one good thing about cold weather is that the girls show up to the concerts and their nipples are already hard. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks to Mother Nature. As long as they're not layered too much. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't. Don't I mean I'm looking down at my shirt and I'm like I'm nipping too, so I know she is. Of course. Well, Ryan, we got a, we got a, a, one last thing. We got a few shows that we booked. Uh, got one we're announcing tomorrow. Uh, big country show. Um, big Joe Matthews. And then uh, we got some <laughs> other ones that are going to be announced soon, very, very soon. A huge, huge blues show uh, for in 2014. Ryan, I want to tell uh, you that we're announcing that yet, but I want to tell you that. Highlight the streets paid me fifty dollars in food stamps to promote them to you, right? Is that, that's what we're all about. That just for this week, or do you get another fifty next week? <laughs> we're working out the details. We'll figure that out later. What I'm saying is, I'll gladly pass on my fifty dollars in food stamps to you if I get to open up for the next rap show. <laughs> and I promise I won't nip. Look at that. You're bartering. Look at that. You're 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 passing it on. <laughs> I'm, pay, I'm paying it forward. I'm paying it forward. Paying it forward, yeah. We can open for the next rap show, and we can open for the next right. metal show. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll open up for the next rap show with one of their T-shirts on. I'll perform. <laughs> That's fair, right? You can't say that. You can't. Uh, they can't tell you you never did anything for them. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you can have steak dinner. See, you got all for $50 in food stamps, no taxes. No taxes, there we go. <laughs> Tax-free cash. Well, it's not really cash money. It's uh, kind of card money. But. <laughs> it's okay, Whatever. dude. Everyone's doing it. Exactly. Everybody's doing it. That's what's hot in the streets right now. <laughs> well, uh, if you want to get concert and event updates, text LIST to 49 49- 798 to receive special offers and discounts and freebies from the cotillion check out the cotillion.com and ryan it's been fun and as always uh we will watch the facebook and everything else for concert updates and we'll talk to you next week sir all right guys take it easy peace ryan later ryan from the cotillion with us today here on the program and uh we are going to take a quick little time out when and we come we're back. Highlight the, highlight the streets. Forget about what you heard. Forget Peace. it. <laughs>
These motherfuckers are gonna sign a show yes, later. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> and they're gonna tell you how they call hoes bitches when they get back. When they get back, we're gonna talk about it. And uh, we've got, we've been joined. Hack in the building. Hack in the building. <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, I cannot wait to text him. To <laughs> 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 call hack. <laughs> call hack. Hack is hating ass Chris. Hating ass Chris. He, he <laughs> likes. He likes. He like, he, like, he uh. Just but, you. Just you. Hey, he, he like also uh. Like my game. Mike. Chris talks to my game. That's Mike. What matters. He also likes to text uh dirt, dirty dirty uh, messages to eighteen year olds. So <laughs> we're gonna have the. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, it is legal. legal. I text him, just not dirty. Israel's right. They are that legal. <laughs> what See, while Chris time is out. texting them, I'm fucking mouth fucking them. So there's that. We might be joined by the engine and Jay Marie a little bit later. We got more when we and, get back. Speaking of mouth fucking. It's an all new love for me when I see you again. Smiling on the outside, crying on the inside. When will it end? Will it ever end? A diamond does not only shine If you take away the light and hide it in the dark Shining on the outside, dying on the inside Will it fill it in? Will it ever end? It's like this slow motion
way you kiss, the way you feel Did you know that I need you next to me? I gotta see ya Cause you do things I can't find in no one You're different for sure, you're so fun I know you've been through so much pain, so much If we just take time to get it back Girl, I know that we can last And we'll have it all, yes Say we'll have it all Tell me if I fall I want you by my side You are a friend You are my lover Tell me why tonight Done with the problems We got love Emergency, emergency, emergency Oh yeah I give it all to you cause you're gorgeous I'm going hard just to afford this So every step I take, I'm cautious Could it be love or just could it be lust? What's a relationship built with no trust? I put in work to provide you a better lifestyle I've been the man that you needed when you was feeling down I supported you, baby, made you my queen now I know you've been through a lot, but smile for me now Because the love that you're giving it turn it up around I just got one question, are you still down? Woo. Remember them promises I made you? Told you that I'm making it down, working with some paper Now I'm feeling cheap, yeah, I'm a real boss player I'm proud of that fight, all them Tell all me if I fall, I want you by my side You are a friend, you are my lover Tell me by tonight, done with the problems We got love, emergency, emergency In the building. Hack is in the building. He's getting ready to text a bunch of 18 year olds. 18 and a half. Like 18 and a half naughty she things. She likes it. She wanted it. And uh, uh, to stop. It's <laughs> <laughs> like I was a douchebag for no job, a band with one leg. I'd be getting all the books. You're probably right. <laughs> Everyone knows that's true. I got a job. I'm a good guy. Oh, can't do that. You need to be on child support, too. That yeah, increases see. your bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I better get him a blue jet right now. Well, okay. well, now, I mean, if you must. Now, <laughs> LaBette Larry, um, you're you're joining us. We're getting ready to talk to Highlight. The streets. The streets. From Forget 316 about. from Wichita, bitches. 316 stand up. 316 up, technically, but yes. As they say. <laughs> I mean, not to be technical, but to be technical. Pound, 316 up. Uh, that's for all, you know, the local bands, musicians that's from Wichita. You know, that's kind of our thing. We used to support each other to let everybody know that you with the movie. But we got Hack over here, which stands for hating ass Chris, who uh, don't like rap. He don't like these rappers. Oh, no. He's not against, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Like you do, Larry. He's not doing retarded answers. He's, he's not, not against Larry. rap. He's not against rappers. Yeah, well, Larry in the building. Mike Game in the building. Go ahead, Mike. Go so, Matt Larry, yeah. he's, a, he's the Monsanto guy, right? Yes, he's the Monsanto guy. The Matt Larry, Mike Game here. We, we once conversed about Monsanto. We need to. Well, we've done this before. Is uh, Monsanto at? still the devil? I mean, last time I checked it was, but... Oh, one? definitely. It's even worse. They bought more seed companies. Oh, uh, yeah? So they're now they're seeding us with Satan. I get it. It's, it's, it's so Marcel pretty well. like the super mega Ultron devil? <laughs> what are we talking about? They're trying to grow Satanism, literally. Everyone knows it. Hey, it's, it's, it's evil. evil. Pardon me. I got a fucking filthy white whore calling me. A filthy white whore. White devil. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay, Larry, you got any questions for Highlight the Streets? We got them in the building. No, I just enjoyed that Chiefs victory. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. We, 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 used to have, we used to have drunk black guys with mixtapes call this show. <laughs> I don't know why I'm staring out the door, Mike. But, um, we've... <laughs> And now, now we got Larry on the line. Israel, jump in there with Highlight the Streets. Larry, just hang out, baby. All right, I want you guys from right to left, introduce yourself. Tell us what your name is and what you do in the band. Uh, my name's Joey, and I'm the bassist for the band. Everybody my name's Alex, and 
My sister is about to beat a bitch's ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, they in the I'm Go. the lead guitarist and I do live backup vocals. Okay. My name's Ben and I'm the frontman slash uh, director vocalist. I'm Eduardo and I play guitar and I'm the clean vocalist. I'm Cheeto and I play drums. And Cheeto in the building. Cheeto we got bitches. Cheeto. What? We got Cheeto, Cheeto in the building, but in real life, my little sister is about to be the bit breaks off a of bitch. Like this is about to happen right now, and I'm here. Uh, we're going back in a minute. Anyway, okay, we're going so back in a minute. Uh, highlight the streets. How'd you guys come up with the name? The magazine. Better fall. We got we got mics somewhere. There's mics over there. Grab grab a mic. Mit, 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 got one of those. Yeah. There you go. Come on, Tom. All right, all right. Yes, business kid back in the building. Go. <laughs> all right. So we came up with the names because we're all artists. So you know, it's like highlighting something. We also like cars. So you know, you're driving down the road and you're highlighting the streets. And we also thought of a more meaningful name, which is like, how many you know, guys on a path and you want to highlight. How many guys have cars you, you guys actually bought? bought? What's up? How many guys own cars that you actually buy that your parents didn't pay for? Uh, actually, I got mine. Ooh, check so, these. Oh. oh, you know what? It's not check. There's five people here. Only two people raise their hands. Actually, three of them. Three. 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 So, who got cars? That's check two. Okay, so El Rado was your first car. But see, what? El Rado. What's up? Your first car. What was my first car? Yeah, what was it? See, you, have Honda Honda Honda. you have my phone speaking to it. Honda Accord. <laughs> My own car. Okay. Mine was too. Cheeto. 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 This guy's got two cars, so. You raise your hand. I like you got your own car. I didn't raise my hand. Oh, you didn't? No, it was us. <laughs> 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 Give us a. Who raised hand? It was you. Yeah, right by me. Business kid's <laughs> checking his cell phone. My, my first car was a uh, 89 Acura Integra. Okay. 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 That you pay for yourself, right? Yeah. Like, with, like, no help from your parents. Like, oh, with your money. Yeah, my money. That's kind of what you okay. pay for yourself. Okay. Means. And my second car. That's one other check. That's one other check. Dodge Ram. Oh, you got Dodge Ram now, huh? Yeah, that's our touring car. Oh. <laughs> yes. You know, they do two, uh, cool. Probably like get in the back of the truck, huh? We have a trailer. Oh, 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 you guys got a trailer. Yeah, <laughs> big timers. Tell them I like the streets. Highlight, highlight the streets. All right, highlight the streets up here. Big timers up here. Man, Phelps and uh. Hold on, bro. bro man. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Jump in there, Israel. Jump in there. These guys, are time to shine. I want you guys to tell us. Tell me the funniest thing that happened during the show. What a lot of people don't bro. understand is oh, that that like one time, <laughs> one time. Oh my God. I'm at this uh I'm at the show and I'm going right and my mouth is dry as shit. I don't I, I'm looking for some water. I'm trying to point to my friend like bring me some water between the set and it's like horrible like horrible. Hot mouth time stuff. Like yeah. Charles Barkley. So, I've horrible. said that before too. I mean I know hey, it's horrible. You know what? Tell us tell us about so so happened to me. What they is when I point to my friends like Jesus. hey when did he become the black dad? Oh. What's going on? Oh. So they don't bring me water. They bring me fucking silent comfort. <laughs> okay, highlight the streets. Jump uh, in. Alright, so Jump in there. I guess we are our, uh, our very first show. And you know, we got up there to start playing and uh it was just an awkward experience, you know, we were just all kind of nervous, and so he's doing this whole little solo thing, and I just kinda sit there and stare at his guitar like, what is he doing the entire time? We looked pretty. He looked like he was in a trance. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, what are you doing? I was like, dude, you've seen me do this a million times. Like, What's a million times at right home, now? but you not in real life. Sometimes, man, like when you when you go to the show, like you get so hype and prepared for it, they like you get on stage and your mind will go blank. Oh yeah. Like what yeah. the? And then this, what song are we doing? Like what? How does it start? <laughs> the second, the funniest thing that happened, uh, actually, our last show with the For All the Sleeping show. Um, I'll let really Eddie tell it because uh, we had some very bad instrument problems going on right before set. All right, we always have instrument problems, and I had my guitar. Uh, I decided to put new strings on it right before the show, and it was a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> so it broke. We had 20 minutes before we had to be on stage, and we lived like five minutes away from the from the place from the venue, 
And so I had to go back, grab another guitar. I got to my house in two minutes, and we had to drive back to the venue in two minutes. I got on stage, and my with the first strum, I broke my string, the string that messed up on the other guitar. Yeah, but I still went, you know, I still tried my best. I took the string off, and I restrung it in the car on the way to the venue. That's luck because you're all strung up. Wow. Multi talented. You gotta add that badass. You know what I mean? Like, a little bit of badass. You know, we also got my boy in the uh, in the building today, business kid. Hey, What's I, going on, man? I can tell y'all about the most embarrassing moment of the show. Um, it was at the Century too, and uh, I was performing, and like one of my fans was pointing at me. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. And she was actually pointing at my pants, and my zipper was down. Oh. <laughs> so I had like I had like the like, little spin the spin move, zip my pants up, like yo, gotta okay. pull it off real smooth. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was at the show one time, man, and I was so hyped trying to get the crowd in it that I I ran out of breath, you know, because I'm fat too, you know what I mean? So I'm sitting there like I need a I need a timeout, DJ. I need an inhaler, like you know, I can't I can't breathe. But man, uh, tell us about like the feeling that you get when you're performing a song. Like you, you, you built this song right from yeah, you built the song and you're like okay, this is a kick-ass song. And you're actually performing it out. Describe that feeling. Um, one of our most popular songs, Wombology. We play it last in most of our shows. And we're going to listen to that song. Um, yeah, how, how are we going to listen to that song? You guys got that on the phone? Because we can hook that up. We do have uh, it yes, I have it on the phone. I can bring it up to you. Oh, they listened to me before on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Go ahead. hey, look, 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 Larry, do you have any questions for, uh, for, for the boys in studio today? Highlight the motherfucking streets, bitches! Oh gosh, he's playing in the band. As it's highlighted as goddamn streets. You ask them questions. They are highlighted streets. He tried. Larry, yeah. repeat, go. Yeah, is playing in a band as much fun as it was for me when I was young? Hell oh, it's oh, loads yeah. of fun. Hell yeah. It's been it's the best time fun. in my life, it's the easily. Thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you better believe it's studio time. Um, it's people. real good when you're recording in a studio. It's enclosed, and you're with four other stinky fucks, and you just stink <laughs> up the studio. <laughs> it, it, it's like home, really. <laughs> yeah, man, the, the music creative process, and though. Party all night and sleep all day. Go ahead, Lebet. What did you say? Do you drink free booze and party all night Ain't and free. sleep all day? <laughs> it, no, not really. It, uh, my game does. Boy, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're pretty gangster, Larry. Everyone knows that. We've heard about you. Yeah, well, that's the way it is. You'll, you'll, you'll get a bat. You'll, you know what I mean? You'll get a bat. You'll get in so, there for a beer. So, do, free. um... Fuck's sake. You guys got any groupies? You need any groupies yet? Uh, no, not no, groupies. Not we have no, fans that come to all our shows, no. but... No. No, no, no. I mean, there's in bitches you know, who well, show you titties. Because you're in the band. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to his girlfriend. She don't. What? Where's your groupies? We don't have any. Why not? Cause I have some. Israel has some. Tons of Chris has some. Business kid has some. No, I don't. <laughs> Jiggy Jacks. <laughs> Jiggy Jacks. You want the kid? Yes. Jiggy Jacks groupies are transsexuals. Yes. <laughs> Trans- like Jiggy Jack Rats groupies happen to are women who look like women. Who look like women. That happen to have penises. <laughs> that sounds like transsexual. Yeah, Larry's gotta go. It sounds like a what? Hey, transsexual. We 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 gotta we gotta let about Larry go. Larry, any final thoughts before we let you go, baby? I hijack mics. For the Amish and watch out for Monsanto and come see Labette County. <laughs> fucking LeBell Larry is all about Monsanto, right? He was just like, he, he will burn the fucking everything down. He's like the Unabomber, and he was like Terry Kaczynski. I'm lost before Monsanto. Who is Terry Kaczynski? The Unabomber, homie. That's Ted's cousin. Well, hey, well, hey, Larry, we'll talk to you next week, man. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you then. Bye, Larry. It looks like the Highland Streets. See you, man. Peace. Labette Larry, and we're going to try this and, and see if this will work. Before we go, before we go to um, 
Great. I want you guys to tell everybody where they can find your music online. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you can find our music online by going to our Bandcamp, Highlight the Streets slash Bandcamp. You can go and uh, look it up on YouTube and always like the Facebook page. Share us as much as possible. We also have an Instagram. We got all that stuff. Come out to a show and we'll have free CDs to give out. So Everyone loves that free stuff. Next show is the October 16th. 16th. We're playing for a Skylit Drive. And right. Where are you guys going to be playing at? The Museum of Heart. Museum of Heart where? To talk. Alright, cool. Next to Wichita. Because you know. It's off of Douglas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's off of Douglas, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because you know what? My game is kid in Israel. The biggest rappers in Wichita. Come out to a show and have fun with us. I'll come out. I'll, I'll, I definitely I'll come to your goddamn show. I will have fun. I will buy shirts. You guys have shirts? Yeah. I'm wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> I like these. You're wearing a shirt. I these guys. Speaking of that, I, speaking of t-shirts, one of our sponsors, the Ink Spot, uh, that's where I get my t-shirts from. They do a great job. They're on Lincoln and Hydraulic. Make sure you guys check them out. All bulls aside, man, I went and did a lot of research, and uh, they have some great prices. And to be able to work with them locally to get a great product, man, yeah, you gotta love it. Because after all, I sold two shirts in Peru this week. So. Yeah, I'm proud of that. <laughs> I'm He's a national. National. You know what I mean? And that's so with this bitch. So we, we're getting this. I ain't so searching for room. We're getting this. Uh, I ain't so shirts, period. <laughs> you gotta sell shirts. It's the American way. One thing is, because motherfuckers want a monster t shirts, and you guys. You guys cannot get on fucking awesome t shirts. Because you have to, in fact, you know. Be fucking awesome. You understand what I'm saying? You're in a band. You well, rock we're out. We're gonna see if this will actually play. Which, We're gonna try. Which one should I put in the internet? Uh, oh, shit, no! Whatever's over there. Good night, Jesus, man! I'm like Drunk Uncle. Maybe? I'm like Drunk Uncle. Three or four or whatever? I feel like Drunk Uncle. Drunk Uncle? I pay my taxes. <laughs> I'm all right. Nobody cares about Drunk Uncle, this bitch! I, I pay my taxes. <laughs> I'm all right. What well, I'm talking about money. Stay What's that? Name American Healthcare. Stay metal. She, you're welcome. She pays no bills. My game. Jack and Drunk Uncles. Don't you approach me. Are you 